This morning we are excited to have Dr. Richard Euler with us, or Dr. O as we like to call him, <laughs> from Compass Urgent Care. He is here to answer our questions. This morning we thought we'd kick it off with the flu, right? Yeah, we're going to talk about flu type B, which has been hitting hard since November. Dr. O, good morning. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. This is a big deal. Okay, so let's go ahead and break it down. Tell us what is flu type B? Flu type B is the uh, different strain than uh, what we've experienced the last three months. We've had flu A. It's almost gone now. Flu B is hitting us hard. I saw 20 cases yesterday alone. Uh, the symptoms are very much the same as flu A, the, the risk of pneumonia and such. Uh, we, we've seen a little more GI side effects with this, this flu, but it's, uh, it's hitting us hard and we expect it to hit us for March and April. One thing that I was, I was doing a little research on it and I found out that you can actually be in, uh, contagious before you even feel the symptoms of the flu, is that That's right? That's right. There's a two to four day incubation period. Uh, typically you become very contagious right when you break that fever though and, and can be um, contagious for about five days. What is your advice, and I, I always think as a parent, I think about the teachers who are exposed to all these little cute kids that are carrying some germs. What do you say to people who work in that type of environment where they have to have so much person-to-person uh, -person contact? How do they stay healthy? That's really tough. That You know, the uh, elementary school teachers, the, the kids really love them, and they're all <laughs> up in their face, and they feel bad and want a hug mm -hmm. from the teacher. Uh, hand washing. Um, and it's sort of the parents, if, if your child has a fever, please keep them home. And then the teachers, uh, don't touch your, you know, eyes, nose and mouth in particular, hand washing, cough into your elbow, not into your hands. I was looking uh, also online about uh, the number of people that die from flu-related illnesses, and it's like 36,000 a year in the United States. That surprised me. How? Who is most susceptible to this and who should really be avoiding it at all costs, anybody that has this virus? Anyone with an underlying health condition, diabetics, uh, lung disease, emphysema, the very young. Uh, a lot of patients are on chemotherapy or immunosuppressive therapy for arthritis or psoriasis. Anyone that has an immune system that's challenged is at risk. Two questions. One, when you're washing your hands, how long is long enough to wash your hands? I've heard the happy birthday song sing that. <laughs> yeah, I think it's 20 seconds or okay. something like that. Okay. The uh, alcohol-based uh, prep, uh -huh. uh, where you, the foam, and, and do that until it evaporates is another good one. And uh, what do you say to people who are allergic to the flu shot? What do they do? Yeah, that's really, really tough. You have to be smart and uh, hand washing, okay. the preventive measures, get the flu shot. The flu shot takes two weeks to kick in. I think everyone knows it's only about a 23% play this year, so it's not been effective. We've had 12 of our staff get the flu this year. Normally none of our staff gets the flu, so the flu shot's not working that well this year. When should this be over, the flu season? Usually by the end of April. Uh, okay. So, and the B is really, really bad in West Mobile right now. Um, we expect a little blip and uh, on, on volume, and, and then by the end of April, it should be gone. Dr. O with Compass Urgent Care, thank you for joining us. We're going to see you more often around here. Yes, ma'am. You're going to answer questions. Thank you. Happy Monday to you, and always post your questions when you hear the Dr. O's coming on the show.